So here we are back for another one. Uh, I'm doing a black background and the colors there in front of you are all, all of them are Arteza and they're all the um, pearl colors. I have a little bit of Amsterdam white uh, mixed in there which I'm not displaying on the canvas at the moment. So with that let me put some black down and uh, this is going to be a flip and drag and we'll see what, uh, what we can come up with. So stand by. Well, <clears throat> here we are, the moment of truth, so to speak. I, uh, I'm going to do the two flips and <clears throat> I'll bring them over now. And wow, this always makes me nervous, but we're going to have to start someplace. So let's might as well start right here. Ready? So one, two, three. Ah, you, I'm telling you. Nope. I'm about as fast as a turtle. And uh, that is not saying much. Okay, so, but here's a fun thing I'm going to try today. And I think you may enjoy watching this. Yeah, maybe I'll turn my other light on. You might be able to see better. Whoa, bright. I wanted to release the, take the vacuum out of these cups. And the other day I forgot to do that with one of these pours. So I am going to see if this will work for me. I used to do this when I was a kid and I'd heat up nails and things and I'd poke holes in my plastic model kits and my brother some plastic models when they weren't home and watching. So let's see if this works today. Look at that. Poked a hole right in that bad boy. That's what I call releasing. Now it's wanting to get away from me. So, that released. <laughs> yeah. Let's try that again. Ready? May not have to get it as hot. I think maybe one hole is enough. Obviously, we're not going to use these cups again. Here we go. All right, let's see if I can get this one to come out a little gingerly. What do you think? I think we we have project on our hands. I need to throw these in the trash real quick though. They will leak. Get rid of this. Wipe my hands off. In my excitement to do this I realized that I didn't put my gloves on and this is a tipper. So what the heck I didn't get the black out of my cuticles the last time I did this last week. I'm still digging paint out. All right, I don't see any bubbles. I do have some thin spots of black here. For some reason, it, I got my overhead fan on and it looks like it may be trying to dry this stuff out a little bit. Not acceptable behavior. Okay. I mean, when it dries, it's going to be black. It's like, <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to see it, but just the idea. Okay. So, uh, this is interestingly is fun. This very light colors. So let's do a little tipping and see what we come up with. Or should I, I do another smeary? Do I do a smeary? up you didn't say no because I just did it. Wow this looks like some kind of um, I don't know. Uh, 
Let's bring it back. Hmm. Now remember, these are the pearl, pearl colors. I'm going to go over to this corner over here. These are the, <laughs> apparently I'm not doing multitasking today with my mouth and my brain or not in sync. I was going to say that these are the uh, Azteca pearl colors. And I'm just going to let that stay for a second while I enjoy all this black paint on my fingers. I'm going to let that stop for a second. I found after looking at a few of my videos and re, re, uh, revisiting them and watching what I was doing, I, I've told myself more than once as I, I would say, why didn't you stop, Richard? Why don't you keep going after you? That, and take a few minutes and look at it and see what you think before you just keep tipping and blowing. So that's what I'm trying to do today. Visualize what it might look like if I add some other dimension to it. I like the cells here. These are coming through pretty good. These, of course, I like a lot. If I tip it more this way, uh, but then I like the negative space with the black, too. So you know what? Stand back and look and see that it carries a little bit. I suppose I could get out my mini blower. But um, I think I'll let that, I think I'll just let that rest. So what am I doing? I'm picking the canvas up and tipping it. But I am tipping it to where hopefully I'll get more, more what? Okay. Okay, I uh, I'm going to stop the video f for the moment and let let this rest, as I just said for the fifth time, and I will be back. Stand by. All right. Just so you know, I cannot I cannot control myself. I am going to use a mini blower a little bit. I just need a little bit of a little bit of action. So I'm going to go with this corner. And you can see that these are very smooth. They're very translucent, aren't they? They're not really maybe the kind of paints that you would think about blowing. But as you're probably well aware, it's too damn late now because I'm blowing them. <laughs> Whoa, dude, stop messing with it. How clever. Hey, it's my painting. I can do what I want. Well, there you have it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, I got that out of my system. And so let's let this uh, breathe, percolate, interact, make pretties, do what it's going to do, and we'll be back later for, I guess, what I'm going to have to call the final shot. 
So stand by, I'll be back. All right, here's uh, coming around the other way and uh, it still hasn't set up that long. It's still, uh, it's probably only a couple of minutes after I've done pouring it and fiddling with it, but I thought I'd come around and give you a, a close up, even though I've got shadows from my, my lights. But one thing to be aware of that these pearlescent colors are very translucent. They're really thin, beautiful, but you fiddle with them, you're going to poke through to the base color quickly. So FYI, as they say, uh, but I really like the way they interact. Quite pretty. And the pastels are very soothing. So we'll let this set up a little bit and I'll come back and take some still shots. But I think all in all, I'm going to wrap this up and just let it do its thing. So this is Richard B. saying uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.